Hey guys, welcome back. So I thought I would sit and do my makeup with you guys today, um, just for fun. I haven't filmed a makeup video in a bit and I miss doing that. I'm not doing my makeup very often at all because um, obviously I'm not going anywhere, but I have been enjoying um, a few products over and over that I thought I would share with you guys and just show you kind of how I've been doing my makeup lately. So to start off, I'm using this Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. I know a lot of people are obsessed with this and so I had to try it and I really love it too. It's not at all what I thought it was gonna be like. What shade am I? Formosa. Um, it's a pretty good color match. If anything, I'm just a hair light, but that's okay. I'm probably using too much. So I thought this was gonna be like, since it's called like a serum foundation, I thought it would be like more liquidy, but it's actually like pretty thick and balmy, but um, it's got like a really nice finish to it. And it feels like very hydrating. I've really been liking it a lot. It comes in a really good shade range as well. Um, so I do like that. Um, it's not full coverage at all, but you guys know I don't like full coverage. I think you can build it to be like medium, but uh, so that's kind of what I'm gonna do today. Even though I don't really have any major imperfections, I'm just kind of in the mood for more of a full face. Even though all I'm gonna do later is work out and sweat it all off, but that's okay because we're just having fun. I've seen so many like TikTok tr uh, like tips from makeup artists that say like, don't put foundation under your eyes, but I absolutely can't help myself. So yeah, I just, I always forget and put it there anyway. They, like I know it's supposed to like help with creasing if you don't, but what are you gonna do? Um, okay, so for concealer, I've fallen back in love with NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I'm just going to put it in the center. I really hope the audio is okay. I have, I'm just recording audio through my phone right here, so if there's ever like any loud movements, I'm really sorry. I need to get like a microphone to attach to my camera. I don't want to use the camera audio because it's just not as good, and also my lens is very noisy. Yeah, this new way I've been doing my concealer, um, obviously, is a tip from TikTok. And um, it just helps you to use, like, less, and it helps to just kind of lift the eye rather than, like, drag it down. Um, yeah, I've been liking it. I don't know if it helps me look more lifted, but it definitely helps me to use less product. Okay, normally for eyebrows, I don't do anything except brow gel, but I've been filling them in a little bit because... Um, I have, my brows are microbladed, but you're supposed to get a touch up every year. And next month is when I'd be due to get my touch up. But um, because of COVID, I'm not sure when I'll be able to get that touch up. And um, I'm just, it's starting to fade in certain areas. So I'm definitely due, um, which is a shame because I really, really just love not doing anything to my brows. But I've been just putting a little bit of product with this M Cosmetics Fine Liner Brow Pencil in Deep Taupe. And I just do like in a couple areas where the microblading has faded the most. But the day when I can go back to my girl, Megan, will be a good day. So nothing major, just like filling in little, little gaps. And then I always use my Glossier Boy Brow. I have purchased this soap brow like probably a year ago. I've used it so many times. I just like don't like it that much. It leaves like a really weird feeling on my eyebrows and it I don't feel like it like holds them that well. Um, I have really thick eyebrow hair so it does take like a really strong hold. I just find that the boy brow holds them the best. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have like a tr trick with, to get the boy brow or the I mean the soap brows to work but I know a lot of people swear by it I just like did not like it that much okay I guess I'll put a little eye primer on because I'm going to be doing some eyeshadow I'm just using this Urban Decay I don't have no idea if this is like the best eye primer or what but it's just the one that I have and uh I guess it works fine okay so this eyeshadow palette 
I've been using to death. This is the Natasha Denona Tropic Palette. It's huge. It's expensive. I think I bought it on sale um, a while ago after I had been like eyeing it for so long. It's just got really beautiful colors. Um, I especially love these neutral shades here. But then it also has like really pretty fun colors, which obviously I don't use very often. But when I want to kind of mix it up, it's always a good option. But I've been obsessed with these few colors here. Um, this one called Pastel Melon. It's like a really pale peachy color. Um, and then this Fake Tan, which is like a mid-tone matte brown. And then this one, Cocoa. Um, and then I really love this Goosty. It's like a shimmery pinky peach. Um, so I've been wearing them a lot. So I just take the Pastel Melon, that really light peachy shade, and I've just been applying it like all over the lid. And this is pretty just by itself too. All of my brushes are really dirty um, because I've been so lazy with them and I have not cleaned them in absolutely months, months. Um, so yeah, I'm disgusting. Um, then I just take it under my eye on like a smaller brush. Then on like a fluffy, dirty brush, I take that fake tan, that like mid-tone brown, and I kind of like just press it into this like outer V and like into the eye socket. And just kind of build up the color and I just keep like packing it in there. And then start like buffing it out with like smaller circles. I love nothing more than like a warm matte eyeshadow. Then I take that same color on that same under eye brush and just take it like a little bit on the outer like third of the under eye. Okay, then I take like a smaller, smudgier brush, and I take that that dark brown color, cocoa, and I start just packing it, almost like I'm doing like a winged liner, but obviously I'm not being precise about it. Do you know what I mean? Just like packing it like that on that outer like wing, and then take that dirty brush from earlier and I just like soften it. And it just gives that like little smoky definition there. Okay, and then I take like a little angled brush in that same cocoa color and I just do a little line on the lower lash line to like just on the outside. And then just smudge that out. And then sometimes I stop there, but if I want to take it a little further, um, I just take like a dark eyeliner. This is a dark brown NARS one. And um, I just kind of like lightly line the outside, what's it called? Like first half of the eye and then just smoke that out with a brush. Just like for that extra definition and smokiness.
Um, okay, and then and then I'll take this shade here, the Goosty. It's just like a shimmery pink melony color, and I put it just on my finger, and I just kind of pat it in the middle of my eyelid. And it just gives like a little bit of shimmer and more peachiness. Okay, what mascara to use? I have so many opened mascaras right now. It's like, I don't know which one to use. I'm trying, I'm gonna try out this um, Bite Beauty Upswing. I don't love the brush. It's like too big. I don't like when I can't get into the lashes easily. But it did make them nice, I guess. Okay, I don't, I don't think I like this. It's like kind of getting all over, it's like very wet. Maybe I just need to let it dry out a bit. Hmm. I always go back and forth on whether I like myself with bottom lashes. So I'm just gonna like barely touch my lashes with the Glossier mascara. Just so there's like a little something without looking too spidery. And then something I've been doing lately, um, I absolutely despise powder, but I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury powder. And I've just been dust, or like patting a tiny bit under my eyes, which of all the places to put powder, under the eyes is my least favorite, but especially when I'm wearing like a dewier foundation or concealer. Um, it just makes my mascara smudge less. I think like when I'm wearing something like super like dewy and emollient, um, my mascara smudges. So this has been helping that. I don't put it all the way under the eye, just like kind of where my mascara would smudge. And then just a little like on the areas I don't wanna be super shiny. And that's it, just a tiny, tiny amount. It doesn't change my makeup in any way. So I've been um, liking that. Um, okay, bronzer, let's get into it. I'm, I've gotten back into the Hoola bronzer, just a great classic bronzer. But I've also been putting it on a certain way that I've learned from TikTok, yes. Um, I am the 30 year old who will do anything that a 19 year old told me to do. So um, that's what I'm doing. I kind of put it up on my cheekbone, which normally that's really not how I would do it. Um, but it's been working out <laughs> unless I look stupid, in which case it's not. And tell me please, for the love of God. And then do like up by my hairline, temple. I maybe should have used like a cream bronzer because this is like a dewy foundation and powder just doesn't go on as nicely on a dewy foundation i don't like a lot of bronzer anyway so okay blush i'm gonna use this kylie cosmetics blush in crush because it's kind of peachy and i think it like matches um and i put it in like the same place pretty much that i put the bronzer Does it look good? All right, I'm gonna not do highlighter because I only like cream highlighter and I've used powder products so the cream's not gonna sit nicely on top of the powder. So now I'm just gonna do lips. And let me show you this combo I'm obsessed with. Literally makes me look like I had lip injections. One of my favorite pencils, Lancome Natural Mauve. This for me is like the My Lips But Better color. Then I take Glossier Cake Lipstick. 
and just lightly kind of smudge that on. Then I take this Kaja Vacay Shine Lip Gloss in Beachy Nude. I don't know what the heck's in this stuff, but it's freaking gorgeous and I'm obsessed with it. And then I just put that over top. It's got like pretty gold shimmer. It's just so wet looking, I'm obsessed with it. I've been loving it like on its own too. And it doesn't have a flavor, which I love when lip glosses don't have flavor because it gets in your mouth and it's disgusting. Why do they keep insisting? And that's it, that's um, how I've been doing my makeup to stay home um, and just feel pretty. Yeah, so that's it. I got some in my mouth. Yeah, so thanks guys for hanging out and doing my makeup with me. What? Um, let me know what you guys think of these products and how I'm doing my makeup. Is it working? Is it good? Is it too much? Like, this feels like crazy. Like when I see other women put makeup on, like this much makeup on, I'm like, wow, you look so beautiful and glamorous. And when I do it, I'm like, who do I think I am? I look like a clown. Do I look like a clown? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Thanks guys, I'll see you in my next video.